Justin's Yes FM Stupid News. This happens a lot. People can't drive every kind of car there is. And one of those things where when it comes to carjacking, you don't know what kind of transmission the car has until you're in it and then realize, oh, I can't drive this car. Well, and you know that old saying, in for a penny, in for a pound? Well, that's pretty much what happened in Newburgh, New York, when a guy got arrested this past weekend after robbing a man of his cell phone, pushing him out of the way, and then getting in the victim's car. But that's when it ran afoul. He got in and realized, oh, I can't get this car into gear because it's a standard shift as opposed to automatic. The victim then helped police locate him nearby, identified him, and he was charged, of course, with robbery. Yeah. Then you got this guy um, who, who took DUI to excess. Uh, he likes beer a lot. Uh, very much so. So this 30-year-old in Tennessee had dozens of empty bottles in his car when he's arrested for DUI. Uh-huh. Police officers carry out a traffic stop after seeing him make a different traffic offense. Uh-huh. They then determined that he was impaired, took him into custody, and discovered not one, not two, but 35 mm. empty beer cans and bottles in his car. Yeah, yeah. That's got to be... Almost borderline alcohol poisoning. He drank 35 beers. Yeah, I mean, maybe some were there from 35. before, but still, that's a tremendous amount of beer. I'm sorry, but after a few, it's like, okay, I've had enough. Isn't beer filling? Like, it, it doesn't you, taste yeah, it's, good anymore. But not only that, you're, it's so carbonated. I would think you'd yes. feel so, like, full bloated. and gassy and bloated. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But he drank 35 of them. He was inebriated. Obviously.